Grace and peace in the name of Jesus Christ. I am Owen Thompson. I'm the rector of Trinity St. John's Episcopal Church in Hewlett, New York. I've been here for approximately about three years now, and I'm the second rector of the historic uh, churches, um, which is very odd to some people. Uh, how can one be a second rector of a church that was founded in 1800s? I'm very pleased to actually welcome you further into the life of our parish, as it is indeed a wonderful place uh, that I've come to know and love, a church filled with God's love, God's presence, uh, as evident in the people, as evident in our diversity, and, and the many gifts and talents that we bring uh, to the table Sunday after Sunday, day after day. So what I want to do with this wonderful introduction is just to welcome you further again, uh, to open the doors, so to speak, so you may see all the people inside and get a sense of what this wonderful place is like. And so what we're going to do is take a brief tour of our parish, and uh, hopefully you will see what I have come to see, uh, the kingdom of God made manifest right here in uh, Hewlett, New York. So come on in, relax, and uh, enjoy. Well, here we are. I'm in the sanctuary of the church uh, here at Trinity St. John's, and I'm currently standing in the aisle leading up to our beautiful altar and our beautiful chancel. Over to my right, you will see that we have the wonderful pulpit where I myself and other priests have had the privilege over the years of sharing God's word with the people in the congregation. Likewise, to my right, you'll see that we have our baptismal font that very sacred vessel where we welcome in new members into the life of the parish. And I, I, I just am overjoyed to imagine how many children and adults have been baptized and welcomed into this place throughout 18, what, almost 100 and some odd years of, of service here in the parish. And off to my left, we have the wonderful Eagle Lectern, where our lay readers read the word of God to the people week after week. And over my shoulder, you'll see our beautiful chancel where the choir gathers. We have the great organ, uh, which is also a historic piece. And also, we have the altar, which is separated from the, uh, the chancel by the altar rail, symbolizing the movement from the world into the kingdom of God. It's very powerful. And as you can see in the back, which is the rude screen, we have the statue of Jesus Christ, Mary, his mother, and I believe it is John the Baptist on the far side, or his the beloved disciple, one of the two, I'm not quite sure yet. But what we're gonna do is give you a, a tour of this beautiful place and the, and the history and the meaning, uh, both theologically and historically, of, of what this church has to offer. And it is indeed a beautiful place. Uh, I get that sense of God's kingdom every time when I come into this place for worship, uh, even now as I stand here, uh, and there's no service going on, I still feel this holy presence in this great place this parish. So we're going to take a walk around and we're going to look at the various things that we have from our stained glass windows, as you can see, this wonderful cross above my head that actually was donated by a, a woman, a parishioner from back in 1800. And we found out not long ago that in containing in the, in the arms, if you will, of the cross are her ashes, her remains uh, are here. So it's, it's quite fascinating. And uh, each piece uh, of this parish has a story in it because Trinity was its own church 30 some odd years ago. And then they joined together with St. John's in Far Rockaway, and so it became Trinity St. John's. So each church contributes to this great blessing that we're all able to partake in. We really want to share that with you. So come on in, and again, let's take a look.